Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's Inter. They take on Milan next on EA TV. All roads today lead to the San Siro here in Milan. It's the Derby della Madonnina, Milan against Inter. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always on these special occasions, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing in this one? Well, Derek, I have to say, this is always a game I look forward to, particularly the styles of play. Milan against Inter, this is a wonderful arena. Let's hope it's an entertaining game as well. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. Ismael Benasser plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And the match is underway. Nicely timed tackle. Lukaku. No high quality defending. Davide Calabria Picayo Tomori Milan moving the ball forward what can they do from here? Calabria shot attempted simple stop for Handanovic that's a well struck pass Diaz who can he pick out Calabria you can sense the threat is there. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Playing it in. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. <laughs> and 
minutes to go short. And Giroud now at the controls. Well, they survived the attack. Not giving him a moment's peace. Chalanolu. He has teammates around him. Martinez. And still looking to get the shot away. Well, off target in the end, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, I think the defender just about did enough there, but that was a chance. Benassa. Brahim. Well, Milan very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Sandro Tonali. Hernandez. Calabria might take the lead. Oh, he's blocked it. Barella. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. They need to get bodies back. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been. The keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. But he's gone short with it. And not a header that was ever really going to trouble the goalkeeper. Sandro Tonali Diaz promising looking ball and he read it well defensively excellent refereeing advantage in operation Benacer now with Giroud, very quick thinking there. Well, possibilities in the centre. Could be dangerous. Barella. And Milan did well to win the ball back. Diaz. Plenty of space for this inter attack. A good and fair challenge. There will be one minute added on at the end. Davide Calabria. Giroud. Leal. A chance to whip it in. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Calabria 
Ben Asser. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, the counter chance looks very real. All hands on deck. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, the overhead kick! Pure athleticism! Wonderful goal! Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? The athleticism, the connection, the accuracy, that's a great goal. So Milan get the ball moving once more. How will they react? Another the perfect position to read it. Lukaku. Well, as the stats confirm, Milan have controlled the ball, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Indeed, and looking to make good use of the possession this time. Dumfries. Now, who can he play it to? Martinez. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Lukaku, opportunity here, it's in, they're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace and then it's a decent finish, that's a very good goal you have to say. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. <laughs> Given away by Milan. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw-in. Just going to be a double substitution. Calabria trying to really get at the opposition here Benasser could reduce the deficit well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable Keen to take it short here. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. A 
And back underway, you really sense the momentum may well be with Milan now. Non advantage with them, referee says play on. Sandro Tonali. Not showing good defensive judgment. Rebic. Good pressure, can they make something of this? Well, as you can see, Inter had much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And still looking to get the shot off. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did and that's the result. Hernandez. Good work from Inter to win it back. Benacer. Now with Origi. Maybe. Hernandez on to Origi a good and fair challenge Origi back to Rebic well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him Inter recovering possession well Chalanolu now with Mkhitaryan, and players waiting in the centre. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Rebic. They've regained possession. A chance maybe from the wide position. And a good take under duress there. And there goes the final whistle, a result Milan fans won't want to dwell upon. A defeat for them, your assessment of the performance. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out.